Hey guys, BrickAU here. Welcome back. Today I have all three Ninjago City modulars with me. I just finished recording a video where I sort of arranged all of them in all the different ways and talked about the different ways that you can do it if you have all three sets. Um, so go check that out. But today I'm putting the gardens in the city over there. And that should be a lot of fun. So I kind of have a shortage in my city of half wide base plates, 16 by 32s. Uh, so for the docks here, I have a little custom 16 wide section and then the docks. And I did a little base plate surgery. Um, so there's actually two 32 by 32 base plates under here. I removed my custom section and then put some base plates underneath the docks for the video that I shot. Um, and then I just sort of undid that for uh, now for putting it in my city. But I, I have these two parts. Um, I don't know what they're from. So if any buildings completely implode, that's why. But yeah, let's, let's get into the moving day here. <laughs> This is so dangerous. I don't know why I'm doing it. There are, there's the docks. There is the city. Um, here's my custom uh, 32 by 32 straight. Here, we'll, we'll spin around over here. Got the, got the Zane statue there. Oh, oh, I, I know this is gonna be good. No, just because I don't trust myself, I'm going to do this in sections. All right, here we go. Oh gosh. Okay, that side's in, that side's in. Wow. So here it is. And, ah, man, I, <laughs> this is amazing. Like This is better than I expected it to be. Um, I love having the temple right here um, with these sort of balconies. Because uh, it really makes it easy for me to be like, this is sort of an end cap um, to like the street level up here. Like it just, this feels like a natural point for it to stop. I guess the one thing I don't really like is how there's sort of a suggestion of the, the lower level, level sidewalk um, continuing. Uh, just because this will be ocean here. Um, so I might actually modify that um, when, I, when I can. Uh, literally just to sort of remove... Um, these bits and probably this bridge as well. Though I'll need some more tiles and we all know how hard those are to get. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll see on that. But I mean, this is, this is still really, really awesome. Um, I love how there's just this little, little sort of outset right here. You just have everything. If you look through there, you know, you can see the Ferris wheel um, and everything continues. I will have to get some plates to address that height gap right there. Um, but yeah, and then even up here, the ice cream shop goes right into the Lego store really, really nicely. I did notice that a couple of parts did kind of squish. Um, the top of this roof did, just because the Lego store is huge, as well as right here. Um, and actually, one thing I might do is swap this window out um, with this wall right here. Um, I think I originally had it like that, but then I, I swapped them before because of what I previously had here, uh, but now I'll swap them back um, and that will actually look pretty good. So I replaced that so we have this window right here which now is sort of overlooking uh, all of the gorgeousness that is down there, um, as well as uh, the pick-a-brick wall is actually accessible now. Um, when it was over here it was sort of above the staircase, um, but I was able to actually just have it be there now, so you know you can you can actually kind of use it I guess if you're a minifigure. Slide the roof back on right there. Uh, one thing that kind of happened is uh, this little bit right here, which uh, I have clutch right there. Uh, you can actually sort of just walk onto the roof of the Lego store. Um, so I might put a put a little railing right there. So all it took right here was just one uh, one by four plate, um, and now that's a much more gradual looking sort of difference there, which I really really like. And I also was able to sort of match the style of the railing. Um, and I think that that looks really, really cool. So there you go. I, I love it. Like this is, this is great. I love, I love how it adds some characteristic to the area. 
And also, I think this is a new tallest point in the city, because um, this set is taller than Ninjago City, and um, it's also taller than the Ferris Wheel. Not by much, but it is taller. So the tallest point in Ninjago is this little Borg Communication Center building, which uh, I think makes a lot of sense, and I really, really like that. Well, I've made a couple of changes. Uh, I removed the... I guess the, the stone work from this side, and I just filled it in. Um, I didn't need that many um, tiles in order to do so, and I had enough to make it work. Um, but of course, I, I need so many more to fill the rest of this space, but we'll, we'll get there one day. Um, but yeah, I added some flowers here also just to help with that. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. There is still this element of green underneath um, where the water, I, I guess... Uh, the the seabed rises up in order to meet the land that's there but i think that that still works out because there's some a lot of like flowers and then the lily pads here so i think that it sort of still makes sense for it to be a little bit shallower right here and then i flatten this this out i don't remember exactly what it looked like before uh <laughs> but i think it was more curved inward um, but i just straightened that out because um, it didn't really make sense for it to curve and then just have a really sharp jut coming back. But So I, I adjusted that. And you'll also see here that I have um, a new Legacy Zane statue. Um, I kind of decided that I really, really like this setup here um, with these pillars in the back. Um, I can't quite remember if these pillars are accurate to the show, but I just I really, really like them with the figure, so I decided to um, have this be the new home of the Legacy Zane statue in my city, um, just because I think it works so, so well. So my Legacy Zane here is just sort of the way it was before, but I actually added the armor piece, which I'm realizing I should have had all along, um, and I have a bunch of extras of that. So here's my new Legacy Zane. And this is also nice because I'm using his old hair, um, which allows me to have his new hair um, in just sort of a use for whatever pile so i'm kind of excited to just have that not really tied to one minifigure but i can just use it kind of wherever i i, I want to and i need to for taking pictures and whatnot uh, but this is cool i would still love to get that mask piece in a gray color but i think the white actually doesn't look that bad if it was any of the other ninja like if this was red i think it would look weird but it being white it actually kind of works with the whole thing and of course it's the proper color for Zane, so I think that works out a lot better than maybe it would have if this was a different ninja statue, but since it's Zane, I think it works. So because I moved Zane to back there in the park over here, I decided to sort of just place the golden Wu figure on there. Um, this is kind of a temporary thing. Um, right now, this is my only golden figure, so I felt like I kind of just needed a place to put it. I felt like it would work pretty well here. Obviously, he does have the face printing, um, but we're just going to kind of ignore that. <laughs> um, I did sort of make his little stand, but I replaced all the black pieces with um, dark gray. And then the and then I'm actually using headlight bricks um, so that they have the stud connection on the back in order to... Um, actually attach this. So it is stuck down there and I think that that works out really really well and I'm able to keep the 10 years of Ninjago tile on there which I think is really cool. I was kind of thinking about what would make a good centerpiece for my city and honestly I think the Ninjago anniversary tile and the Golden Woo like I think that just makes sense, so I might keep this. I don't I don't know for sure, though. Lastly, uh, with the addition of the gardens here, I did some math, and the number of 1x2 translite blue tiles I need now is 3,029. So um, having this set here and then having this extra half base plate right here definitely helped that number go down. Um, and I was actually thinking about maybe adding some other things uh, around in order to help that number a little bit more. <laughs> because I have all of this space, especially over here. Um, I'm not really sure what I would do yet, um, but possibly like another mini island could go somewhere in these three base plates here. Um, or something back here. I know I just took out the bridge connection here, um, but I was also thinking maybe I actually do want these to connect. Um, 
somehow. And then, you know, I'd have kind of a bridge going over this space here. Um, but we will talk about that in the next episode. But with that, I think we're going to be done for this video. We have the gardens in the city now, and it looks so, so awesome. I'm really excited about the future of this city and this whole area in general. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos on the city. And hit that like button because it really helps out the channel. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.